Hey everyone and welcome back to another C Sharp RPG tutorial. So in this one we're going to be creating a large terrain, something we can actually use for our game, and something that you might see in other open world games or MMOs such as World of Warcraft. I'm going to show you guys how to simply create a terrain really quickly, and from there we'll expand on another tutorial series. I'll show you guys how to link multiple terrains and we can create different zones. And we can also create some kind of LOD system depending on what area you're in. Um, we can hide and show different terrains so we can have a big open world and that runs rather smoothly. So uh, yeah, I already went ahead and created my train, just the basic setup for it. So we'll get rid of this plane. And here we go, we have a pretty large terrain here. Um, so I'll go in and I'll show you exactly what settings I set for mine. Um, you guys can be more lenient with yours if you want something that's more high detailed or anything like that you can change these settings so pixel error 5 base map 1000 you can put put this up to 2000 if you want um, everything's defaulted except the stuff down here pretty much um, so terrain width and terrain length are both going to be 10,000 so if we zoom out this, our box character is based off pretty much the default box that you can create. So that's about the size reference you want to stick to. So if you see that this area is a very large area, we have a lot to work with. We can put a lot of mountain ranges and keep all our content in here if we want it to feel like a big open world area. So terrain height 2000, how high we can lift it. And then the rest of the settings are just resolution and um, for the texture maps. So if we go in here, if we crank this all the way down, that's about how detailed we're going to get for a hill. But if you're making smooth hills, it's not going to be too big of an issue. So if we go in and we create something like this, you see that, and we can smooth it out. And you can get fairly smooth terrain without all the extra polys. Because if you're dealing with an open world game and you want... Um, your users not to experience too much lag, especially with um, our performance, depending on what their graphics card is. Uh, my PC is not very high end. It's about four or five years old, and I built it for about five hundred dollars. So the parts in it are still probably even older than that, and I can easily run my game. So I mean, people with high end, it I guess it's going more towards high end nowadays, but you guys could crank it up a little bit more I guess so anyways so now that we have all these default settings um, we can go in and we actually want to create this uh, train higher up than it actually is so when you want to add stuff in like an ocean or rivers and whatnot and you want different either heights in the train if it's going up to the mountains or going down, you want to have kind of a middle ground that you can work, can work on. If you want it to go down to the ocean or up to the mountains, you want it to be a different at a different level. So if we go over here, we're just going to create a little area to work with. Um, so we're just going to lift it up however high we think we need it. This train can go pretty high. I'll just show you. 2,000 is goes pretty high up and I don't even think that's the maximum but we'll create just a middle ground here that we can work on we'll make this brush a little bit higher we will actually zoom out a bit we probably want to start our game somewhere in the center so what we can do is just flatten out this centerpiece and we can move our player and our enemy to it just for future testing but We'll, we'll expand this out in the future, we just need a little area to work with. Because if we're going to be putting mountains near the edges, we want a big area in the center to work with. And that we're not going to run into something like we don't have enough room to place stuff. So we're just going to lay this out like this for now, just to get a base idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to a random part over here and we're gonna go and grab some of our stuff really quick and move it over here look 
this up just a little bit more and try lining this stuff up the best we can. Okay. Just don't want our player to get stuck in the ground or anything. So I'm going to save this real quick. We can go jump in the game and see how it looks. So this is our pretty much our starting point right now. I know my computer might be a little bit laggy because I'm recording at the same time, but hopefully it's showing up okay. So now that we have our base terrain. So when you first start working with terrain, you're not going to have any textures on here. You're going to have to import a few of your own. So for this tutorial, I made two different textures, a light and a dark one, and we're going to be blending these two together. So my dark one is the base that I used. And the light one I'm going to use just to add little details and highlights to the train. So if we go to edit, edit texture, I set it to 50 to 50. These, these base textures are 1024 by 1024 by 72. Um, I just export it as PNG, but you could do Targa. Um, that's probably the highest resolution one. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep them as PNGs. Works just fine. And yeah. So we're going to get into creating a couple of little mountains here and I'll just show you how to create. So this tutorial is basically just covering how to create the train and we're going to paint it and do a couple of other things with it. So I'm going to be using this brush. Uh, we can turn this down a little bit more depending on how we want to smooth it out. So if this was cranked way up you might get giant mountains right away and I just want to slowly build up these mountains. So we can make a couple of hills that we want to work with. And we can go in and if we want we can smooth these out. You guys can mess around with these settings, make them more smooth or less smooth. So we're just going to smooth these out a little bit and we can make a couple of higher mountains here. These higher up, just like that. So with the mountains, you can make them a little more jaggedy. Down here, we probably want to be a little more smooth. But yeah. So we're just going to create a little area here, and we're just going to lift up a couple of different hills just to give us something to work with. So this is more for people who are new to creating um, or working with terrain in general in Unity. So as you can see with Unity you can build a relatively nice scene really quickly using these tools. So from here we can actually go in and start painting. So when I paint I keep my opacity all the way cranked up and I use the target strength to blend in the textures however I see fit. So I like to use more of a blurry brush um, so we can just go in and start painting. So I'm going to back up just real quick and we're going to increase this to one and I'll show you guys what this does. So if you see if we use one, pretty much it's, um, it's very bright, it's very out there, it stands out from the rest. So we'll go back real quick. And so when we actually use the lower, you can see that it blends in a lot nicer just like that. It combines the two textures together and it smoothly transitions. So it won't set the scene too much apart and you can blend stuff in nicely. And I mean, you don't have to just work with two textures. You can blend in a bunch of different textures if you want. I think these terrains support up to 12 or 16 textures. So, but most areas I would say, I mean, you can stick to a minimum of five or six textures and make the area look pretty pretty nice. But if you have different zones that look slightly bit, a slight bit different, um, yeah, you can work with a lot more. But that's the reason why we're separating our different trains. We're gonna have a bunch of different ones because each zone is gonna have its own set of textures. So now we have some nicely blended in textures. And from here, if you guys wanted to actually go in and add 3D models to this area, or um, there's different tools that Unity has built in, like you can add plants and vegetation and trees. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys how to set up a basic area in Unity for our MMO game. So I'm just gonna save that and jump into game real quick and we can go walk around. 
So as you see, we don't really have um, too much detail here. Um, we're gonna add a lot more in the future just to make this look nicer, but, and we can add some maps too if we really wanted to and adjust the lighting and add some fog and make it look really nice. But I'll save that for future tutorials. But if you're just getting into Unity and you wanna create a very cool um, environment using the train system, you can set it up relatively quickly. So hopefully this is a lot more pleasing to look at than a, uh, you know, a little tiled flat ground. So yeah, we're going to start doing some more interesting things. We're going to make our um, enemy here move around up the hills and spawn and we can do a bunch of different stuff with that. So it'll be a lot more helpful to actually demonstrate how a lot of that stuff works using this type of train. So yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.